Google Chrome is one of the best web browsers that you can use. The ability to add extensions that can enhance your overall browsing experience is a feature that many people like. If you use another Chromium-based browser, like Opera, or one of my personal favorites, Vivaldi, Chrome extensions can be used with those browsers as well. This is the first episode for this year in the Chrome extension series. If you missed the others, I'll provide a link in the description if you want to check those out too. Today, I will show you 10 Chrome extensions in various categories. These add-ons are all free to use and amazingly useful to make your web browsing easier and more productive. Coming up on Tech Gumbo. First up is full page screen capture. There are a lot of screenshot tools that will capture what is visible on your screen. But if you need a screenshot of an entire web page, that process can be tedious. This extension will auto scroll an entire web page and take a screenshot that can be viewed in a single image. Here is how it works. In the upper right, left click on the full page screen capture extension to take a screenshot. When it's done, it will open in a new tab with the screenshot of the entire web page. You can save this image to your computer by selecting download here at the top. If you select options, you can change the default image format. Your choices are PNG and JPEG. Many of you are probably familiar with DuckDuckGo, the search engine that doesn't track you. In addition to searching privately, their privacy essentials extension will force encryption when available block trackers, and assign a privacy grade when you visit a website. For example, when you're on a site, if you click on the Privacy Essentials icon, you can see the privacy grade for that website. They've given this site a D grade, but with the enhancements forced by this extension, it has changed the grade to a B. It shows that it's blocking nine trackers. You can view the trackers being blocked by clicking into it. If you're already a fan of their search engine, Check out DuckDuckGo Privacy Essentials. For those of you that keep asking for an easy to use screen recorder, the Loom Video Recorder couldn't be any easier to use and it's 100% free. It can record your screen and webcam at the same time with just one click. I'll skip the mini tutorial for this one. If you want to try out Loom, they do provide a tutorial on how to use it right here on the extensions page. If you're like me and you visit multiple sites each day to get your news and information, Panda 5 is a cool extension that puts all your sites in one tab so you don't have to open multiple tabs. When added, it becomes your new homepage in Chrome. I like that it has all the websites organized along the left. Selecting a feed will show articles for that site to the right, which can be easily opened by selecting the article. After you install this extension, there's a brief tutorial that will get you more familiar with the layout. If you have friends or business associates around the world, Fox Clocks is useful for showing you the current times in different cities without having to do a search in your favorite search engine. To get the times, just click the Fox Clocks icon and you'll see your times listed. To add a new city, just type the name of the city and select it and it will show up on this list. Hover Zoom is a simple extension which works on many websites to zoom in on a picture by hovering your mouse over an image. Having this extension installed reduces the need to open new image tabs or load new pages to view the larger image. Images larger than your screen are automatically resized to fit your screen area. Up next is Super Netflix. Sadly, this is not a way for you to get Netflix for free. This extension is for those of you that watch Netflix on your computer to give you more control. When you click on the Super Netflix icon, you can change several of the defaults, including the bitrate. Leaving it at zero lets Netflix choose the bitrate. You can have it set to automatically skip intros. And if you don't like spoilers, you can choose to blur out the next episode thumbnails. If you hate clutter on a web page, Mercury Reader cleans up that page to show you easily readable versions of that web page without all the distractions when you're reading an article. Let's take a look at this page from a popular website. There's a lot going on here. To clean things up, click the Mercury Reader icon here in the upper right. And as you can see, now there's less noise on the screen to distract you. 
If you use an ad blocker to help you deal with intrusive advertising, my personal favorite is still uBlock Origin. The key reasons I use it is because it's easier on system resources than most of the others, and it blocks most of the ads. And unlike some of the other ad blockers, uBlock Origin does not take payola from advertisers to let their ads slip through. If you want to support a website and enable ads, whitelisting that site is easy. Select the uBlock Origin icon and click on the power button to enable ads for that site. As many of you know, having too many extensions enabled can slow down your browser. The Extensity add-on makes it a lot easier to enable and disable your Chrome extensions when you need them. To quickly enable or disable extensions, select the Extensity icon. Now you'll see your full list of extensions. Those that are disabled will be grayed out. To enable an extension, just left-click on it to activate it. If you scroll to the bottom of the list, you can also enable or disable apps that are installed in Chrome. If you have a lot of add-ons installed, Extensity is a must-have extension. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. What is your favorite Chrome extension? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring the bell notification icon for more amazingly useful videos and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.